Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today, we're of course talking the Chapter 3 event. We just got news, or this update just happened. The Foundations model has been updated to make his head just a little bit bigger. This update, I mean, we already kind of knew, but this is just even more confirmation that he will appear in the Chapter 2 finale. And uh, he should, I think he's going to be doing the voiceover, right? We can assume he's going to be doing the voiceover. Um, but yeah, this little update in the files here uh, basically confirms everything we've been saying about that. Uh, we're also going to look at the Chapter 3 map. the Some biomes that are going to be in the map. Chapter 3 collaborations and then the winter event uh, that, that should kick off with our new chapter as well. First, let's start with this. I've been out of town the last couple days. That's why I haven't posted. So just catching up. Fortnite times Montclair. That was the fashion collab. It came out uh, the day I left. So just catching you up. I think these skins are awesome looking, man. These skins dropped on Saturday. Thanks to everyone who was using code the camp and rusher, by the way. And yeah, I love them. I love these skins. I, I, I prefer it over the Blanche Blanchiaga collab. Uh, at this point, let me know. Next here, the item version, which was never released, of Alien Parasites has been updated at 18.4 to be added to the inventory properly. We might see them in creative in chapter 3. And then there are still 10 encrypted pack files, and most of them include HD textures. This basically means that there are most likely a lot of skins that are still encrypted. The chapter ends in 13 days, which means that the remaining pack files should be decrypted almost every day from now on. So there's a lot of secrets, obviously. There's a lot of secrets still hiding uh, one of them is the live event of course there's gonna be a lot of skins and like you said it's basically per day we're almost gonna have a new uh, pack decrypted every single day and of course I'll keep you updated make sure you subscribe to the channel when nobody's on I'm your guy I know we've been gone the last couple days but I'm back all right I'm back in town we'll have videos going out basically every day as long as there's news to cover which there will be we're gonna be uh, this is gonna be a pretty chaotic next few weeks of Fortnite I'm just excited Artemis, which is rumored, I believe now confirmed to be the code name of the Fortnite Chapter 3 map, is already being used in several places in the files. This is from Kumar, mostly in terrain and biome materials, but potentially other places as well. The one below is for sand height. So, biome wise, here's where we're at. We've got reference to sand here, sand, desert biome. We know from our source that there are going to be multiple biomes next season and sand and snow have been the ones that he said. Again, he says things could have changed, but that was the plan months ago uh, when he saw an initial outline of the map. And now we're seeing reference to sand. It's, there's going to be snow. I think we can just guarantee that with the winter season. Uh, someone's also added here, remember, Unreal Engine 5 is launching with Chapter 3. So the graphics should be much different. Capabilities should be different. I'm not, I don't fully understand it all. I can't explain it all to you. But uh, I just know it, can, it means bigger and better things. Graphics are going to be way better. Uh, apparently, Unreal Engine 5 does rocks really well. So I'd imagine a lot of the next island would be dedicated to a desert biome. It also does in interiors incredibly well. So I'm hoping for full cities. That's the other thing. Big city POIs, right? These are the rumors that are going around. Now, something we can look at that, that gives us an, an idea of what these Chapter 3 graphics are going to look like. The Naruto trailer video was created in Unreal Engine 5 using game version 19.1. So next season, the first patch, 19.1, that's, that's the, the place that they created this trailer. Now, I'm not going to show you it all again, but I'm, I'm showing you photos of uh, just kind of the best parts where we can see somewhat of what the graphics might look like, specifically for minis, bigs, uh, and just the, I guess, the interior of, of this building. It's the interior of this one specific building, but you can, you know, kind of imagine what, what this style is going to look like for an entire map. So I thought that was worth talking about because gives us an idea, some of it, somewhat of an idea of what, what we're going to see graphics-wise. There was a massive competitive announcement for 2022 while I was away, and there's a lot to cover. I'm not going to go through it in detail because this was from a few days ago, but FNCS Duo with a match point format in finals, divisional tournaments, two round cash cups, proposals for in-person third-party events are being reviewed for approvals once again, and more competitive features. So duos is the new main format, all right? That's the big point. Now, they're also testing a variety of different uh, formats, but the, the, this one is cool, the, the match point format. And what that means is that a team may end the finals tournament window early, the FNCS finals, and be crowned the FNCS champions if they accomplish both of the following. Reach the designated points threshold and earn two victory royales. So 
even if it's a close battle, it, you could end it on game five, even if they're supposed to be six games total. With this new format, uh, yeah, you can close out and be crowned champion before all the scheduled games are, are actually played. It, it's cool. They're, they're trying to make bigger bigger moments, right, where, where the victory matters even more. I'm not against it. I think uh, it, for the view viewing experience, it, it's going to be even better. They're working more on third-party in-person Fortnite tournaments. They want in-person events. Hopefully, we get to see more of that in 2022. And they already mentioned uh, we've seen changes, right? Arena Phil altered the Arena Points format, and they, uh, they, they there's more coming. All right, they got more changes coming to the Arena system, the broadcast, and tournament features. I cannot wait. That's our that's our competitive update competitive announcement hypex the frozen fireworks challenge from season one got updated in 18.4 and crack shots cabin got updated in 18.3 looks like there's some winter vibes from season one and they're coming back they're definitely coming back so there's just a little confirmation on our winter event we know what's happening but just, uh, there you go official Cypher K, Cypher PK is once again teasing the new season. At the end of the videos, there was a black screen with some background audio. If you brighten it up, it gives us this. And what is this? Well, of course, it's Donald Mustard's old zero point banner. This is obviously important. Uh, a lot of people think this is going to be, and sorry, it's low quality, but it's, it's just a low quality image. That, that's all we got. But uh, this will be our black hole two-day waiting screen all right that's kind of the the theory right now right when the event ends on december 5th we will have the to be continued sign and be looking at this screen for two days you know twiddling our thumbs just trying to <laughs> keep ourselves distracted uh as we wait for the new chapter i'll have videos going out don't you worry keeping you entertained uh while we again patiently wait Let's talk collabs. Hypex, here are the collabs that were mentioned in the Apple vs. Epic documents but didn't happen yet. Most likely, all of these are for Chapter 3. All right, this is, yeah, from the court document leaks. So a lot of things you can be excited for here. The Rock, I mean, we know he's related to the Foundation, so it'd be nice to maybe understand that a little bit more after this season and you can see some of the others there there's also this epic games has recently sent out a survey asking takers what franchises services characters they like um yeah th so this is what they're looking at i mean there's so many out there uh but this is yeah they're surveying about these things uh let me know i'll leave it on your screen for a little bit extra what would you want to see I, I see nhl give us give us an nhl times Fortnite collab i'm a big hockey guy I love watching hockey there's athletes there's shows there's books you know you name it it's on the list let me know your favorite down below with the arrival of the new chapter and uh, we know that with chapter two from chapter one, uh, some of the OG spots survive. Salty Springs, Pleasant, Retail. Uh, of course, Salty's been changed since then. But going forward into chapter three, do you want or do you think any POIs will survive? I, I got, I'm, in, I'm caught in between. Pleasant Park's my go-to spot. So I want it because I want familiarity, but at the same time, maybe if it's not there, then I uh, will get to explore it and find a new spot. The spot that I'm too obsessed with, we'll find a new one to replace it. Let me know your thoughts. I still, I think Pleasant's gonna come though. It's been, it, right? That's one of the locations that has been here, been with us since the start. I wanted to add this in as well from Fitzy Leaks. What if, and it's the Fortnite multiverse, little description at the bottom there. Every iconic villain from past lives came back to the island from multiverse. What if this is some version of our, th th this is just a total guess, cool con. Concept. It's a great idea. Why not show it off? Take care. Talk soon, everybody. Goodbye.